Greetings, weight loss community. I decided to change my greeting to weight loss community so that no one would feel left out. Like I'm only talking to people who are using the Weight Watchers plan. Uh, like I said before, when I use the term greetings Weight Watchers is because we were all watching our weight and I happen to be using Weight Watchers. So, but I still don't, I don't want it to be exclusionary or feel exclusionary. Because one thing I've experienced is that, um, to my surprise, well, you know, to somewhat to my surprise that no matter what way people are using, no matter what method people are using to lose weight, we all kind of go through the same processes. <laughs> so interesting because I was watching this um, show, The Naked Truth, Truth uh, last night, and um, I was so surprised to hear the host, Jennifer Bleacher, saying that she didn't realize that people who are not in the weight loss surgery community I mean, had not, who had not experienced weight loss surgery were still in the weight loss community. That was just interesting and so baffling to me. So it, I guess the numbers when it comes to how many people are making YouTube videos that are not in the weight, who, who have not experienced weight loss surgery must be much, much, much tremendously lower than people who um, have had weight loss surgery because I don't see how is it that she would not have even realized that there are people out here, you know, who are not who haven't had weight loss surgery. So that's really interesting to just think about the whole, like the way the weight, this weight loss um, community on YouTube is set up, just the dimensions of it. Uh, it just made me really just think about that. Like, wow, that's really interesting. Um, and so, but one thing I have noticed when I first started, I was looking only for people who were doing Weight Watchers. Because the same way Jennifer said on her, for her, she was looking for people she needed to. She needed to have a community of people who were doing the program that she was doing. And I totally understand that because at first I was like not interested in looking at people who had had weight loss surgery. Or not looking at, interested in looking at people who <clears throat> were using any other methodology. Um, because I needed to just immerse myself or felt like I needed to immerse myself and focus on weight, um, weight Watchers and getting in that program and eating, you know, getting in the program. And it's so interesting because I find that there are very few people who are currently active that I know of, that I'm aware of, who are very, who are currently active, um, that I have found, <laughs> who are making videos using the Weight Watchers um, program. So I had to expand. I had to expand um, quickly if I wanted to basically feed myself with um, so with a lot of videos and just keep myself just immersed in the consciousness of this weight loss um, experience. So um, what I'm doing today is basically just just have reflecting, reflecting upon my week, reflecting about my thoughts about the. Um, about my experience so far um, with YouTube, and um, and I wanted to do, to do this before I go to my weigh-in. I have my weigh-in in about an hour and a half, but I don't want whatever happened on the scale to cloud um, what I'm thinking and how I'm feeling. Because last week, I mean, I told you, uh, if any of you watched my video last week, I uh, gained, had a gain of... 3.4 pounds after having a loss of 3.6 pounds the week before. <laughs> so uh, I went from people saying, oh, congratulations, that's so wonderful, to having to say, okay, I lost it all, you know. And it's really not about the people's responses, but it's interesting that I found, just again, reflecting about my experience, I found that the people's responses, had they not been there, I would have only been... In the first place, I had I have only been concerned, like only thinking about myself and about how I'm experiencing this. Um, but then coming on YouTube, I realized where people are actually interacting because in some kind of way, I feel like when I'm talking to the cameras, like I'm talking to myself, or when I'm when I especially when I started and I didn't have any followers, or um, then it seemed like I was talking to myself, right? So then it was almost unexpected to have people respond. Um, and then when they responded favorably, I'm still like, especially when I saw some of these messages after my weigh-in and I'm just having to say, thank you, but I gained it all back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't write, but I gained it all back because the people were just expressing their support. So I just said, thank you for that. And then I made the video and said that, okay, I can't, I gained this weight back. But it's so interesting that the, the extra, the added dimension when you're doing this in a public forum, 
that I hadn't thought of. And certainly nobody, you know, said anything negative about am I not having, am I having lost? Or, I'm not, I'm not, I, don't, I don't expect that to happen. I mean, anything, anything could happen, but I don't expect that. But um, it's just interesting the, that I feel like it does hold me accountable. And I do... I mean, being on here does hold me accountable. And I do know that the reason I posted that video saying that I lost, I gained the 3.4 was because of the accountability that being on YouTube and starting the YouTube channel has brought to me. I've heard, um, like I said to you, I've expanded who I, li who I watch on, the, on, the, on this channel. And I really want to just say in particular that I do appreciate the people who are in the weight loss surgery community because they do have like almost like a fast forwarded experience of of their of their um, weight loss success they do tend to experience success so you see the whole gamut of the of the of the process of weight loss I also say that once you know once there's a certain month, amount of months out or any any of the people who have maintained they have to then use the same kind of strategies that we use as a matter of fact one of my really um one of my my not one of my first i think my first subscriber or first subscriber that i know not my first subscriber but uh one of my uh friends she had weight loss surgery you know who i'm talking about <laughs> she had weight loss surgery and um now she's talking about and then she added it, I guess a couple years ago or a few years ago now she's talking about finishing out her uh to get to her goal doing Weight Watchers so I just love that because it's like she's already a success she's already a person who's successful she's lost a lot of weight she's made a big transition in her transformation in her body she made a big transformation in her health I just found out uh about her health transformation and so it's like even successful weight loss people, people who've lost weight, um, you know, choose the, will choose to continue their weight loss doing a plan like Weight Watchers. So I just like that. And I just like that there are people who like I can talk to who know what the experiences are and the experiences of your body changing and or I can watch. I mean, I, I, even if I don't talk to them, but people I can watch you talk about the experiences of your body their, your body changing and mental things that you go th that they went through and um and that people might go through and all these kinds of things that are so helpful because you can see them in advance you can see them experiencing them you can hear what they have to say and you can be prepared I can be prepared um I can see them and I can be prepared for what might come you know the 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 possibilities of what might uh, might might come so so that's what I've been doing. Uh, this week, I feel like I did well. Um, I feel like I did well in that I stayed within my points. I believe, except for Sunday, the, the same day I weighed in, I think I went a little bit over my points on that day. I'm not trying to be funny, but you know how it's like, um, like sometimes you have to say, oh, you have a cheat day, or for whatever reason, sometimes we like, we'll use the data of, of weighing to go over our points. So I used the day of weighing to go a little bit over my points. And remember, I told you how I was feeling last week. But I didn't go much over, like very much over, maybe like by four points or six at the most. I don't even think it was six. But, um, but you know, I try not to go over my points. I get, I'm a lot of 40 points. And that's a lot of points. <laughs> um, so considering that, the, that the, the bottom threshold is 26, so I better get into practice about how to streamline myself. Um, and then also I find that even though Weight Watchers offers the opportunity to have 49 weekly points, I don't, I have not experienced that I lose any significant amount of weight if I use those, those, those weekly points. So I'm wondering if I should like adjust for myself, like and say, okay, would they all let you have 30, uh, for, I mean, 40 pound points a day, but maybe I should let myself have 38 points a day and then be able to have the 49 you know what I'm saying like some kind of way where I can still incorporate the 49 because I feel like the 49 are there in case of in case you need it and the way they're, they they teach the program right now is they say use them like fine use them that's what they're here for to use but I have not I'm not finding myself being successful in, in using them but anyway so that's why I try not to use them but anyway this week I pretty much stayed on track if I went over it might have been by one point 
like two days or something like that twice this week if I if I did I don't I don't think I did I, I think one day I went over by one or two points but other than that Sunday I don't think I went over at all um, some days I'll go a little bit below the points um, I have been tracking on in, uh, uh, I've been tracking definitely on Weight Watchers I've been doing a very good job of tracking on Weight Watchers I did see that the other night uh, at the end of the night I forgotten to track whatever I'd eaten at the end of the night but I know I didn't go over 40 I just forgot to track it um, and it was just like I think I had like four five six four between four and six points left and I ate like maybe four of them or something like that and I didn't um I didn't track it but otherwise and that was the end of the day and I stopped eating but otherwise I've been tracking very well I've been um taking pictures of my food I've been um posting to Instagram and Facebook a little bit so feel, please feel free to join me at um, Instagram um, at fit to love me or Facebook at love with love fuller but yeah so I've been doing a really good job of tracking I've been doing a good job of 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 cooking at home for sure cooking at home I have been doing a good job of being able to calculate the points um, like like know what I have in my house and know about how many points they they the thing the foods are knowing um and try, trying to put them together trying to put together some combinations to keep my points low because you know the strategy that I'm using is have very low points in the in the um in the earlier part of the day so that I can have uh points for later because that's when I tend to do my my snacky eating I decided that I'm not going to address that right now because uh, I just need to do like one step at a time. I kind of feeling like, okay, I'm just learning how to manage the points and learning how to get in the mindset of the points. And then I'll make the other shifts that I need to make. And eventually the shifts I'm going to need to make are to eat uh, more, just more whole foods. The shifts I need to make are going to basically move toward clean eating, which I'm not doing right now. So clean eating, uh, the shift I'm going to move towards are exercising. I'm not exercising really at, at all. I haven't exercised at all this week, I should say. Sometimes I exercise like once or twice a week, really once, but um, I, haven't exercised, I didn't exercise at all this week. You'll see my Fitbit update uh, video. I'll post that after this one. And, um, and so... So, and then changing when I eat and not eating so much late and then also I think eventually as I go to award clean eating I don't know if if it, I definitely I know one thing in particular that I need to address is changing changing into eating more healthier sugars so because you know all the processed things and of course that's called clean eating but in particular I'm, I'm going to be looking at finding and researching, learning about healthy, healthy sugars. So I just want to say that, yeah, I feel like I did well this week. I'm, I will have another video after to see how uh, things went with, went with the scale. I am kind of nervous. I do have a little bit of trepidation about going to the meeting and because if I go to the meeting and I find out that I didn't do well, I'm going to be definitely disappointed because but I don't think so. I, I don't think that's going to happen because I feel like last week when I, when I, after I came back from, um, you know, after I came back from boohooing, boohooing on the video, I realized I was like urinating a lot and I'm like, what if I was holding water? Like I was, you know, holding like li uh, liquid, I was urinating or not. I think it was like the, um, you know the week like I might have been ovulating as well um, and I think that and then I also think that I could have just been holding you know some like food inside of me I, I'm not really sure but I'm not saying none of it is real gain but I don't think that all 3.4 was necessarily gain and it's so funny I remember watching this video from Weight Watcher Girl I'm always talking about Weight Watcher Girl I watched this video from Weight Watcher Girl and she said something about like when you go off to stay right on, like, just don't even, like, act like it didn't happen. I don't know if she said to drink a lot of water. I don't know what she said to do, but she said something about, like, and you'll find that when you look, when you have a game, you'll find that if you just keep going, it'll just go away. I mean, obviously, if you're just eating and eating and eating, but it's like if you just get right back on track, she said that it kind of will just, like, kind of go away, which I know that sounds, like, really, but 
I just remember that, gosh, had I seen that video last time when I saw that, seen the game last time when I was with well, my last attempt at doing Weight Watchers, had I seen that video, I would have been more encouraged to continue and get back on the wagon and, and just see that those pounds, because it was another situation like that. I was like, how in the world could I have gained all that weight? Like, that doesn't make any sense. So, um, my battery's about to go dead. So, I'm about to go to the Weight Watchers meeting. And I'll let you know how it goes when I come back. But I feel like I did well. I'm proud of myself about how I did. And if I can continue doing this and, like I said, um, make those moves, those shift towards, shifts towards um, changing those other things, I will be great. The tools that I used this week were definitely the points. And we're definitely watching a lot of videos. That helps me a lot. So I need more and more and more people to watch. Um, I'm just immersing myself and just immersing myself in the, to get the consciousness of, 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 of weight loss. And I'll see you later. Bye.